Right, and we know that the company responsible for security at Amsterdam was ICTS, this Israeli uh, operation, that also did the security at the Gaulle Airport in Paris and, and allowed Richard Reed, the shoe bomber, to get on that American Airlines flight to Miami. And uh, isn't that interesting because Richard Reed had also boarded an El Al flight earlier to Tel Aviv. Now, if this guy's so dangerous, I mean, El Al supposed to have the, supposedly has the strictest security in the world, but he was allowed to get on that plane because we were told then they wanted to see who he was meeting in Israel. They said that's, that's the same story the here. So same let's. Story. Same story. You know, I mean, that's on record. Exactly, Wayne. Absolutely. And, and, and then. Days after it happens, not just billions of naked body scanners worldwide, but Israel says we may get a contract with Homeland Security to run everything because we know how to keep you safe. Meanwhile, it's an Israeli company that lets them all get on board. Well, I think it's just another indication of, the, you know, what interests, who benefited from this? Of course, chair top benefits, uh, Israel benefits because it keeps this this uh, Al-Qaeda boogeyman alive uh, when it's increasingly becoming apparent that Robin Cook, the late foreign secretary of Britain, when he said al-Qaeda is nothing more than a CIA database, he died of a heart attack supposedly while hiking up in Scotland shortly after he made those comments. And but so did David Kelly and everybody else. It just continues. And expanding from there, looking into your crystal ball, all your NSA, CIA contacts, are they planning to attack Iran? Because they're openly saying they will. The neocons are threatening Obama, saying you will attack or you're a first-termer. I'm sure you saw the Sarah Palin clips about, I would declare war on Iran and hit them now. That's what Obama should do, play the war card. We've got neocons saying, man, we sure need another 9-11. You know, we were as happy as pigs and you know what. I mean, this is really, they're, they might as well, uh, think back three years ago, Wayne, when they had five of the former Pentagon generals, who were the five network military correspondents, in that audio tape, that one of the aides recorded, going, man, we sure need another line 11. It sure helped us. What are we going to do, Rumsfeld? And he goes, it's hard. It's they'll, we, let's talk later. I mean, we play that audio. They almost say they did it in that tape. Right. And, and also, uh, it's interesting what's coming out of the Chilcot inquiry in London, looking about how uh, Britain was forced to go against, uh, in a, uh, join this war against Iraq. And, and just out today, it's, we're reading about how some memos were released that state that, you know, this whole thing about France blocking the war effort in the U.N. Security Council, there was a plan that if France doesn't go along, we're going to engage in an anti-French campaign. Hence, we had the Freedom Fries. We had the French Surrender Monkeys. All this stuff was pre-planned by the neocons. And by the and way, France helped found this country. I mean, I'm... I'm, I'm of you know, uh, uh, my Heinz 57, I'm mainly English and, and, and Welsh, so I'm not bashing the British people. But Britain is now sold as the founder of America. No, France are not a bunch of surrender monkeys. Absolutely. And, and of course, the, the, the two people who were most against France getting involved with that and really basically called, called them on, called Britain a Bush and Blair on this whole phony uh, argument about WMDs in Iraq, uh, it was President Chirac and Dominique de Villepin, the man that that Sarkozy is trying to put in prison. He does not want that. He does not want de Villepin to be the next president of France because if he takes over the Elysee Palace, he's in a position to expose even more of these crimes by the neocons. Well, you notice that in 1950, uh, 1946, when NATO got set up, that France said, "Give us our nukes." get out of our country. They found out NATO was planning to take over like the Vichy French had done uh, in 41 for Hitler. He found out about that, and uh, de Gaulle did, so the, the British tried to kill him repeatedly with the jackal. That's on record. And it's clear Sarkozy isn't even French. Uh, he's this enemy agent coming in, and they join NATO again. Right, and, and they, you know, send, sending more troops to Afghanistan and this whole... This whole thing was to basically eliminate France as one of the countries that stands in the way of the, uh, the goals of the neocons to uh, basically, you know, let's be let's be frank, take over the world. That's what their intention is. And now we see these these bankers or 
They're trying to bring down the euro by attacking what they call the pigs, which is Portugal, Italy, maybe Ireland could be in there too, Greece and Spain. The Greek trade unions are going out on a strike because they're being told you're not going to be able to retire when um, you know, at 63, you're not going to get pensions and all this other thing. So, yeah, they're getting upset like American workers should be because they're now in the banking rules saying the government may take your pensions and then tax it and give you part of it back. They're not going to insure money markets. I mean, I mean, my God, this is bad. Right. And also there is, we're also seeing an attack on Japan trying to bring down the value of the yen by this, this whole thing about Toyota. Uh, when, in fact, the, the parts that are made for those Toyota cars are made by an Indian-owned U.S. company in Indiana. Does that There's sound no, like industrial espionage to you? Oh, absolutely. It's economic warfare, industrial espionage. They're, they're, they're trying to get at the end through Toyota. This is Ray LaHood, the Republican Transportation Secretary, uh, doing this. And, and it, it, it just goes to show that the people in charge of Treasury, Geithner, and Bernanke and Obama and Emmanuel and all these people are really not much different than what we had in the past with, with Bush, Cheney, uh, Rumsfeld, uh, Hank Paulson, and the rest of these criminals. Well, they're worse because the left has gone to sleep. Absolutely, and I, I noticed today that there's now some pushback by some Democrats in Congress against Rahm Emanuel. I mean, I knew that they were there, but now they're starting to go on record, which indicates that Emmanuel has really poisoned the well. That's right. You, you know what? Let's do five more minutes on the other side, Wayne, because I want to talk about Emmanuel. You know, you talked over a year ago about how he was cracking his knuckles in the ear of Obama. Then it came out in the New York Times, how he calls up and threatens members of Congress. They're not going along with that. And it's on drugs today that they're sick of his bullying. Wayne Madsen's our guest. Your call's coming up the next hour. Big news blitz. I haven't even gotten to half the news yet. Drudge Report is linked in red, one of their top stories, to the report that it's confirmed they are recording the naked bodies of people, printing them out, laughing at people at the airports. Uh, it happened to a major TV film star. That's on PrisonPlanet.com right now. And we have the new free iPhone app. It's free. Listen to the show.